All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Say hi to Dan. Dan, say hi to everybody, Dan. Hi. Okay, I'm making for the very first time sausage gravy. So let me flip you around and show y'all. Okay, I'm going to flip you around. All right, sausage gravy. I, I, I cook some sausage up, y'all, like you do ground beef. For like spaghetti and tacos and then i poured some milk in there and dan told me because he makes he can cook this man can cook he told me that i use cornstarch and a little bit of water to thicken up the gravy so here's my first attempt at making homemade gravy from scratch not an envelope not a jar not a can from scratch do you like a little pepper in it i don't have to Okay, I ain't going to pepper it. But normally you put a little salt and pepper in it, um, I think. But I'm not going to do it because I'd rather, I'd rather uh, season it myself as I go to eat it. I don't like too much pepper. But I'm waiting for the milk to boil. I made homemade biscuits today. Okay, I made homemade biscuits. Look, y'all. The little round ones because, look, homemade biscuits, they're soft. So we're going to have for dinner tonight, we're going to have sausage gravy and biscuits and some scrambled eggs with cheese on it. Probably because his granddaughter Macy's with us, a little two-year-old, and she likes eggs with cheese. So after I get the gravy made, I'll pull another pan out and make the scrambled eggs. But yeah, I wanted you guys to meet Dan. This nice, wonderful, handsome amazing man that's his dog shadow right there oh man y'all this is a great man right here <laughs> yes y'all have been through my journey after my divorce okay this is the best one yet guys right here this one i gotta hang on to see prissy even likes this one a whole lot okay we're keeping this one this one's a complete keeper yeah and yes y'all he's easy tops Okay, if you want an autograph, contact me. Let me know. We'll send you a, a, an autograph. Okay. A.K.A. ZZ Top. <laughs> let me get back to making the gravy. I told him we should start. We, I told him we should start signing autographs. Just A.K.A. ZZ Top. He looks like the one I think that's passed away. I don't know what their names were, but that's the one he looks like. If you look at pictures. We're doing an event this weekend. Um, a Halloween event this weekend. And you're, uh, we're doing vendoring. His daughter makes um, homemade lollipops. And uh, almost like old-fashioned hard rock candy. But she makes lollipops and little lifesaver type candies and brownies and cookies and stuff. And they're going to be selling that, and I'm going to be doing face painting. But we, they, they kind of suggest that the vendors dress up for Halloween, so his daughter, Trudy, is trying to dress him up like ZZ Top. I am not dressing up, guys. I am face painting, and I'm not wearing a costume. It's going to be a three-day event. I'm going to be tired, people. So let me come back to you guys after I get this all gravied up and hopefully it comes okay. Fingers crossed that I make homemade gravy. Never done it before, ever. So, in a bit, guys. Alright, you guys, look. We have gravy. I successfully did it and I tasted it. It's really good. Got scrambled eggs going. We're having breakfast for dinner tonight. Every now and then, that's just really good. Put a little cheese in these eggs. And I will come back to you guys with a pitcher or a shot of it all good together and then I'll talk to you guys just for a minute and then that'll be a new video because I got a new beginning to the video guys so in a bit guys okay you guys look the biscuits under there and he said to put the gravy on top of the eggs that's how they eat it up here I think that's disgusting but that's okay I'll do it he said, yeah, he did good steak. I'll do it. 
So there we go. Okay, you guys, I'm going to taste it with one of my biscuits and let y'all know how it tastes. Okay? Here's a bite. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. Got a little Macy's plate fix when she comes out. We can find out from the peanut gallery what he thinks. So, baby, is it good? Yeah. It's good. All right, y'all. In a bit, guys. All right, you guys. Welcome back again. And this video started yesterday when I was making homemade... Um, Sausage gravy, and you guys got to meet Dan. Dan and I have been together now about um, a month. It was a month yesterday, on the second of the month, is when we met. <clears throat> you guys, Dan is an amazing guy. He really is. Um, he is. He's just an amazing guy. I mean, I don't know. He. Uh, He's caring, he's considerate, he's, um, you know, Bevels and I joked around when I was getting my divorce in Florida and said I wanted to come to, I was going to come to Kentucky and find my Bubba. Well, <clears throat> I guess Dan's my Bubba, okay? Um, anything that I have a checklist off in what I'm looking for in a man, Dan, if it's that bill, I mean... I was amazed at how much all my boxes were checked with him. And the thing about it, guys, is I was not looking for him when I when I met him. <clears throat> I was not going to meet him. Um, but I started talking to him on the phone. Um, and after I was talking to Bevels and telling her what we were talking about, because I told her everything we talked about, and she's like, Jamie, you need to meet this man. I'm like... I'm not going to meet him. I'm going to wait a while. And she's, no, you need to meet this man quicker than, sooner than later, quicker than, than you would have. And, um, even though I had my, not my reservations, but all I had been hearing from her was, you know, take some time for yourself. Don't rush anything, blah, 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 all that kind of thing. And I was taking her advice, you know, after the horrible breakup with y'all know who I was taking her advice. I was going to give myself a lot more time, and I wasn't going to start dating until next year, after the first of the year. <clears throat> but she was like, no, you need to meet this one. And um, I met him on, we went out and met for the first time on September 2nd. And I liked the man I met on the phone. I like him first. But I'll be honest, y'all, when he stepped out of the vehicle... And he had worn an orange shirt because he knew orange is my favorite color. Um, and he was tall and he was wearing jeans and cowboy boots. I thought to myself, oh, that package looks so nice. I already like the man himself. And that's the ultimate thing, guys. I like Dan for who he is first. But I also like the outer package that came with him. But I really like who he is. I mean, the way I see his family how they love him so much and the way he talks to people. He's an awesome guy, guys. I got lucky. I mean, I feel like I've been gotten lucky. <clears throat> so I'm glad he said hello to y'all. I'm going to start doing videos again. I didn't want to rush y'all meeting him. It's been over a month since we've been together now. Just, just a month and one day. So, um, but yeah, I wanted y'all to meet him. Now he lives in Ohio. I live in Kentucky. So we go back and forth to each other's house together. Together, we go back and forth. So, because he watches his two-year-old granddaughter a couple days a week for his daughter. So, that's important. But, um, so his little granddaughter, um, she's in the previews to the opening. It's little Macy, so. You guys will probably see some of Macy in, in my videos. Because he, she's a big part of his life. 
But this man is, I don't know, he's awesome. So I just wanted to catch y'all up to what was going on. Um, this weekend, his daughter and I and him are all going to an event together. As I think I told y'all a little bit earlier, she makes um, homemade lollipops. And I'm going to face paint at this event this weekend. So hopefully I get a little bit of the event. Um, he doesn't seem to be shy to the idea of me videotaping. I've already got him on TikTok in <laughs> three videos. So um, there'll be more band because this one I think I'm going to really try to hang on to. <clears throat> um, there's just something about him. I can't explain it. Even though we've only been together four weeks, it feels like we've been together for four years. It just feels right. It feels like it fits perfect. So I'm going to say for now, um, I'm going to end this video because I don't want to make it too long. But I'm going to say uh, like and subscribe. And remember, enjoy the craziness of life because you might laugh at when you tell a friend. And I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, bye.